Hi, how are you? I'm Aileen Sullivan. Um, welcome to this live stream. Oh, stop, you can see me all right. I need to turn the camera down a bit. There I am. Um, I'm just popping on. Um, just to let you know, I'm going to pull, I think, a card for the Guardian Angel cards. <clears throat> a card, card from these, this deck. And a card from this deck. Just felt inspired. Um, just to remind you that you have only got, in fact, days this, this is the 11th, you've only got to the 13th at midnight to purchase um, the Guardian Angel Workshop. It's a very, very special offer, a discount offer. It won't be at that price again. Um, we're just offering it to you, myself and Jacqueline from Fifth Dimensional Angels. Um, look to see what card is for us today. Um, can you feel into this? So it's a very special offer. Um, please get in touch to purchase it. I'll let you know how you purchase it. Um, just PM either myself or Jacqueline or the Fifth Dimensionals page. Hi, Jacqueline. Oh, lovely. And this is the Arcane uh, Angel of Faith. So when I'm linking in with this card, this is a card for the group. So it's a group. Um, group guidance. So when I'm linking in, sorry, I've got. <laughs> sorry about that. When I'm linking in with that, with this card, um, it's the angel of faith. It's um, it's actually two females sitting together, and your guardian angels is basically working with the both of you. So I feel it's um. I want to say that Archaea Faith is working with you who works with Archangel Michael. The work is one divine being, a one soul a being um, like coming in with balance. But I feel like I'm, when I'm linking in with this card, it's almost as if when you talk to your friends or uh, somebody that you can trust, um, but I feel this is about conversations that's been going on about your your lack of faith in humanity um, maybe in worldwide, I want to go like, like maybe your community. Um, I actually had a wee news feed up. I was horrified because I'm a, a great lover of animals. I was horrified about this wee wee black cat that had been uh, killed. Um, and it, I was oh, it was just really really touched my heart. Um, hi Anna, lovely to see you here live. So. You may be thinking to yourself, what is going on in the world? I mean, like just there's so many changes happening and a lot of it is out of our control. But when you take your own power back and you stand in your own power and you do, like you get up every morning with purpose, you've got a purpose to your life. Um, like you get up and you have a routine in your life and you just like keep forging on that and bringing something new into your life. I feel that you'll be getting renewed faith and our care faith is just bringing in that because to... Much in society, and I don't mean this if there's any gentleman on here live or replay. I don't mean any disrespect. Um, but it's um, there's been throughout society women have yet to become equals to men. But it's just this: um, the archangels and the archaea work together to bring in balance, to bring in equality for male and female, um, and for the for the males in their life to recognise. Um, you know, it's not like a sign of weakness to uh, be kind and or to show your emotional side and to um, to need to be nurtured and loved by your other half or your, you know, reach out to other people to tell them how you're feeling. Um, but this is just really, I feel I want to say this is renewed faith. It's coming forward for you um, and it should be very soon, if not today or tonight. I feel it's very soon that this is coming, that your 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 angel of Faith is actually renewing your faith in humanity and yourself and um, how you move forward in your life. Um, look, just look out to see where you might be tr guided to try new things, um, to to be just doing something different. I'm doing many different things. I'm, <laughs> I'm learning French, she laughs, in a wee, a wee app that I've got. Although I've actually not done it for the last couple of days. It's wonder it's I think it's been sending me notifications. I've been too busy doing yoga and... Um, fitness up in my fitness levels and my walking and everything so I'll pull a card for you for here so I'm just feeling as if 
Um, I'm making my life, I'm I creating my life in the, from the inside out. So I'm just feeling as if this is not just a message for me, but it's a message for everybody else. So I'm just pulling a card here for the message from the mermaids. Right. How are you today, everybody, anyway? Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> I used to do my fringe like this ages ago. Well, years ago. And then I went off it. Uh, and my youngest niece had her fringe cut and I, I could have a wee notion for it. And then I said, oh, no. I started trimming wee bits off it. Um, but anyway. <laughs> I used to be quite uh, adventurous with different things. Right, this is a light. Um, I think I'm going to try a wee shade of pink in it the next day. <laughs> I used to have all different colours, but I kind of lost... I don't know. I, I, and I used to have my hair... Before all the different colours came in, I used to have my hair really, really short with uh, royal blue highlights. <laughs> um, and, and everybody says, oh, did you like people's colour in their hair? And I think, well, that was new. No, I was doing that when I was... Oh, maybe 19 or something like that. Maybe even younger than that. So this, this is uh, the mermaid here. She's uh, sitting here and she's, I think she's almost feeling as if um, she's lost her inner light. But I want to say to you um, that you are the light, you are that lighthouse for the people that's are in and around you. Um, and it doesn't mean to say, it's a bit like me, I come on here, I, I'm just li living the same, I'm living the dream not. <laughs> I've just done a huge pile of iron and it's been lying there for two weeks. I've been make, preparing the dinner, I've been making juices and smoothies and everything for for tomorrow and um, I've been doing lots of like, chores. So it's just, you might be this, you might be in a, a, a position, you might be mother, you might be sister, you might be, I believe Anna's a teacher, you might be somebody there that other people look up to. But also, you also at times might feel as if you're depleted in energy and you're not maybe giving yourself back what you need. But it's just really this, Mermaid's cards just really saying, you know, a lot of emotions have passed and um, it's it, everything's settling down, but you are that lighthouse for other people. You are the light, that you are the inspiration. Other people look to you um, to bring this through, through for them. And I want to say to you that what you do today is not just going to affect yourself, but it's going to affect future generations to come. And I actually feel really emotion with this. I feel an awful lot of emotions. I feel it really here at my heart. Um, I feel like um, just to me, um, everybody has been a mixture of what's been going on in the world. Um, we've all been in roller coasters. It's been quite a time and a half. But I want to say to you, I believe in my heart. Uh, hi, June. I believe in my heart and my guides that come forward that change is needed for for humanity and I believe that this is a way forward for our children, <clears throat> for mixed, for mixed generation. Yeah, I, I believe that. I believe that, Anna, because that's the way I've found it really difficult still working and um, being going through the same as everybody else and seeing, looking after, looking out for dad and uh, Peter's his mum and dad as well. So in the eighties, and it's it's quite a challenge and a half. Um, feel that somebody's pulled me. Through. <laughs> Through one of the old spinners that my granny used to have, like one of the old ones. <laughs> yeah, there's change needed. There's 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 a change in everything that we do. Everything we do, it's making us think. How how do we treat ourselves first of all? How do we treat the land? How do we do we walk every day? Do we walk in the do we walk in the land? I feel as if there's a whole new teaching system required. I feel as I, and I feel this is coming in because children are needing. Not every child is the same and. I feel like children are needing to be heard and seen and there are many, many talented children who have to go, well, if you don't pass this grade, then you're, that's you, you're written off, more or less. I don't know if it's the same now, but I just feel like children are, are, are being born, they're crystal children, they're rainbow children, they're, they're just, they're, they're born, they're so gifted, gifted in ways that we'll never, ever be able to achieve that. They're so enlightened um, and they need a different way. They need a different system. And even the the the, the older children are, are very are very are very different. So we're needing things are coming in to change to make us think for ourselves, but to make us think if we can make a small change just to ourselves and our attitude and the way that we do things, 
then it's going to have a knock-on effect and the light's going to be shone. People are going to see that for miles to come, for years to come. And when we heal ourselves, we heal everybody that comes coming behind us and everybody that's going forward in their lives. And I just feel as if I want to say to you, just be reassured to sit in your own power. If you feel, if, you're, if you've got the opportunity to um, do something different, um, opportunity comes knocking in your door when you look after yourself much better than we have been before. And it's just like, um, I feel like I just had to come in here and say this. I didn't even know what I was going to say. <laughs> I just, it just came forward. Um, and it's just like the angels are just here. They're working with you. They're urging you on to keep doing what you're doing, to no give up, to no give up hope, to no give up faith, to no give up faith in yourself, to no give up the, the guidance that's coming forward for you. To not just listen to everybody, the naysayers and people being negative and everything. Look past that. Look beyond. There's some people that are just always going to... It was like when when um, when Facebook came on. I remember having the conversation with my mother and father-in-law. And my mother-in-law said, uh, you know, it's terrible, Facebook, blah, blah, blah. No. People cause... Uh, people... It's people that... <laughs> the issue... If we address it, but we're, we're all we're, we're all guilty of saying or doing something we shouldn't do. So it's just like address yourself, and then that's got a knock on effect for everybody else. But to not lose the faith, to not lose sleep, to get the best care for yourself, to do the best you can for yourself, and then that will everybody else will benefit. They can only benefit from you for from being in your company. Hi, Pamela. Oh, yeah. I definitely, I felt that for a long, long time about education. I actually probably felt that when I was at school and I'm 50, look, <laughs> 56 there, I nearly didn't they come out. <laughs> um, I'll be 57 in July, but I felt that when I was at school. I felt as if I almost didn't belong. I didn't understand how I had to be so regimental and I just thought, no, this isn't right. So I had that awareness away back then. Um, and I actually forgot about that. I just must have come up for a reason. Anyway, um, so anyhow, if you're interested in a guardian angel workshop, it's fabulous. You can have it. It's self-healing. It uh, really takes you into meditation space to meet your guardian angel. There's self-healing. You get a lot of healing throughout it. I'm channeling for the angels. Um, and I take you into the self-healing space. It's just really... I feel as if it's really... It was really, really uh, powerful stuff. And it's if you're looking for something that you can go back to time and time again. Gosh, I don't even think you probably could get a cup of coffee and a cake now for what we're offering it for just now. But I just feel as if there's so many people that need things. I do give a lot of things for free. And I will actually, I'm really guided to put, um, because this has came up quite a few times in, in, in my life, but I'll put it on my Facebook page. I'm a Drew Yoga teacher, but I... I there's a, a posh a energy block release. It's um, EBR three, and it's very very good. I used it um, for years and years, and I will get back to it again. But I, I, I'm back to my mat. Back, I'm, I always do yoga anyway. But it helps. Um, it's a heart awakener, which is happening with the world just now. Um, if your heart isn't already is awakened, but it's a series of posh uh, movements um, for any age. Um, it's not that. Um, running about, it's crazy, it's just really moves and shifts stuff in your body, shifts stuff in your life, so if you're feeling stuck, you're feeling fed up, you're feeling whatever, go to this, it'll be on my page, I'm going to send, the, I'll put it on the page, it's on the YouTube, it's on YouTube, and if you can, get to a yoga class, a Drew yoga class, it's D-R-U, um, it's fabulous, but they've got many things for free on YouTube. I'll put it here because I forgot it was a time in my life um, when I didn't know how I was going to get out of a job I was in. Um, I just was in a situation, there were no way out. I didn't know what else to do physically. I hadn't have, didn't have the energy. I worked with this every single day and um, it shifted stuff in my life, but I didn't realise it. I'd been doing it every day and setting the intentions and um, it wasn't until maybe about, say, three, I don't know, three, six months, I don't know how long it was, I can't even remember, but stuff started to happen like magic like this. And I thought, what what's happening? I mean, I've always put positive intentions out into the world, but I thought, what's happened? What am I doing different? And then I remembered, 
this energy block release. So it's really, it's working with the nadis around your heart and it's a heart awakening and it's opening you and it's basically you're asking the universe to guide you or your guides, your angels, whatever you believe. Um, and it you have to, it's like when you get called to action, when you get called to take that, to move out a job that you're in, it's making you so unhappy. It's, you have to like, actually make that, it's like when the, my guides and my angels work with me, if I don't take that action and the information they bring forward for me, then nothing's going to happen, nothing's going to change. So it's just like, we know ourselves, we've got to change, and I'm talking about myself here as well. I'm not just, I'm not just, I'm not just a perfect person, I'm not floating about in a cloud. Um, I'm just saying to you that when you get, when you get this coming in and it keeps repeating itself, I would say if something repeats itself three times, it's telling you, really, I need to shift, whether it's I need to move my body, something needs to change in the way I'm doing things. If you don't know how to, how to get yourself out of a situation, whether you're maybe feeling really negative or people are around about you are just pissing you off. Sorry to be like that. I've been there, I've been through all the emotions this year with everybody else. Um, and sometimes I've just cried about nothing. I don't know, because I just think, oh, I feel as though sometimes people are cruel and to one another about nothing. Anyway, go. On, I'll put it on, I'll put it on. I'll just, once I come off of here, I'll, I'll put that on. So that's a free thing. Do that every day or as often as you can. Start off with once a week and maybe t start to take a wee journal and just start and work with it. And then just, if you feel things are no shifting, you're no shifting, you kind of get yourself out of mindset, it will start to move stuff in your life and things will really start to change. Trust me in this. I was even, even though I'm, I was a trained yoga teacher, I still am. Um, I did it and I was amazed at how I felt as if magic had uh, fell from the skies with the things that happened in my life. Uh, but then I realised, oh my goodness, it's that. And it's always a thing I'll go back to. It's always the one thing I'll go back to. And then lately, it's been coming up all the time. It's Energy Block Release 3, so I'll put it on here. And anyway, thank you, thank you very much. Um, yeah, <laughs> I didn't even plan to come on here. I was writing my shopping list. <laughs> oh, anyway, carry on laughing and enjoy your night and I'll put that on for you. Please look out for it and do it. Honestly, do it. It'll help you. Help you in so many ways. There's, there's no any... Um, you don't have to be... Um, yoga is a kind of... You don't have to be this perfect body. And this, it's a lot of rubbish, that. It's about mind, body and spirit. It's aligning with who you are. It's aligning with the universe. It's saying... Help me, please help me, and it will. It it does. It works because you've got to move it, move move through it. Well, so we're all been moving through this shit. <laughs> she laughs. Um, for the past year or whatever, we're moving through it. So we're shifting stuff. So we know we have to change. We know we have to change. It starts starts with us. So let us let us do something positive. If not for ourselves, well, for ourselves first, and then we can help other people. We can't. There's always a saying that you can't help a, a drowning man if you're drowning yourself or you're up to your neck in it. So anyway, I'll send it to I'll put it on this page so you'll be able to come back, save it, and you'll be able to have it there all the time for yourself. Okay, thank you very much for joining me live on replay. It's been an absolute pleasure and have a fabulous night. Thank you, bye-bye.